Now that we're all warmed up from the genie, we're going to head up this way for a little bit of the aviary action. This boss is a little bit different than the genie, though, because the focus of this boss should not be just doing as much damage as you possibly can as quickly as you can. But it's more about avoiding damage from all of the different projectiles that are going to be on your screen while doing damage with the two different weapons you have at your disposal now. Let the aviary action begin. When this boss starts, you want to run up to the boss and start shooting it in the head with the bombs as quickly as you can. And you can continue using the strat until the boss gets to the top of the screen and shoots eggs, at which point you want to get to the left hand side of the screen and use the machine gun. The parry opportunity for this boss is these little birds for phase one and two. You want to try not to shoot the pink birds and parry those right there. And then we're going to get to phase two here, which is just a bunch of feathers over and over, and then the boss rests a little. So you can go up and down a little bit each feather instance, and you won't get hit ever. All very consistent. Then we're going to use the big bomb on this boss again, and parry anything you can. You want to try to get to a spot where you can shoot the boss with the machine gun during the feather dodging, just so you're not super tight on time. Phase 3 here, you want to use the missile bomb as much as you can while also making sure you pay attention to when the boss is going to use that ray gun. The ray gun is important because it'll hit you, and it's also a great source of parries, and the extra specials will make sure you get the boss cleared in time. And we go up here and use the special again, and we're almost to the final phase. Parry that. As you can see, we're being a little reckless there. And the final phase is just a bunch of stuff on your screen, either the right or left, Bird is going to shoot pills at you, dodge those, pay attention to the heart, because the heart can kind of just shoot at you, and I think it's predetermined that it's not going to shoot in a particular spot until, well, it's shooting, right? So it's going to shoot at you. It's a little unfair, and this part you really kind of have to get used to shrinking down and moving in a faster pace, because there's just too much on screen. But with a little practice, you will get to the perfect score, like we did right on over here and still had 15 seconds to spare. So you can see the time's not tight, just don't get hit. 